do you want your dog to be able to do this? <laughs> if your dog can't walk past other dogs or people with a loose leash, keep watching. When I share clips like this of my dog, Nira, I tend to get comments saying things such as, I wish my dog could do that, but my dog could never. To be 100% honest, neutrality to other dogs is something that I started training Nira when she was a tiny puppy. However, that doesn't mean that your dog can't learn the same skill, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how. Rather than just demonstrating the training process with my dog, I decided to add an extra challenge and a plot twist. In this video, Nira is going to be the decoy dog as I teach this skill to one of my former reactivity clients. Yes! This is Millie. She's one of my prior reactivity and leash pulling clients. Millie! Her reactivity was primarily due to frustration. She wanted to meet every dog that she saw, and she would immediately pull towards them and bark when she didn't get to greet them. I'm going to show you step by step how I taught Millie to walk right past my dog with a completely loose leash and no cueing or management. Before we work with Millie, I want to quickly show you how I would start this training if you have a young puppy. This is Bosa. While working on other skills with him, I noticed that he was already developing some reactivity to other dogs. I brought my dog to a session with him so that I could show you how I would begin training neutrality with a young puppy. Oh, Bosa! All you're going to need for this dog neutrality training is high value treats and a loaded marker word. I used the word yes to let the dog know that they got it right. If I'm working with a young puppy, I'll also often bring a blanket to hang out on. Also, please note that Bosa is only on my lap during this because it was really cold outside and he wanted to cuddle for warmth. When I first start training, I like hanging out in the grass far away from a popular path where there will be lots of dogs walking past. You want to do this in an area where dogs need to be on leash. This allows us to keep a fairly consistent distance from the other dogs. This distance is really important. You want to start training at a distance that makes this really easy for your dog. You'll see later in the video with Millie that I do push her pretty hard so that I could show you all of these steps in one session, but typically I suggest keeping training to five to 10 minutes. To start this training, whenever your dog glances at the dog in the distance, use your marker word to reinforce them for staying calm and reward them for looking back at you. Repeat this a lot. Now let's work with Millie. I walked Millie over to a field where my dog and husband were waiting. Again, I stopped at a distance where Millie could successfully start this training. When you're doing this with your dog, I suggest that you overestimate how much distance you think you need. Initially, I marked and rewarded Millie every time yes. that she would glance at Nira, but that she didn't try to approach. Yes. Yes. Also, please note that I'm not asking Millie to sit during yes. this training. I want her to be comfortable in whatever yes. position she chooses. Once that was easy for her, I started yes. building in a three to five second pause where I wouldn't intervene. At that point, she would get a reward for either one, voluntarily choosing to look back yes. at me without me having to prompt her, or two, calmly watching my dog for those three yes. to five seconds, but not voluntarily disengaging. At that point, yes. I would still mark and reward her to get her attention back on me, but I also took it as a sign that she needed more yes. time practicing at that distance before I progressed. Please keep in mind while you're watching yes. this that Millie has a long training history already. Depending on your dog's ability, it's normal if this takes a few weeks for you to see the same results. Remember to progress at a pace yes. where your dog can be successful. Get it. 
Once Melody was almost always voluntarily disengaging yes. from Nira, I slowly worked my way closer and closer while repeating this whole yes. process. Yes! Good job! Yes! 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 I do want to show you one clip yes. where Millie started to charge towards Nira and react. What you cannot see off yes. camera is that Nira wanted to come say hi to me. Yeah! Good job! Good job! Nira's quick movement triggered Millie, but she easily recalled to her name without any need for leash tension. If you want your dog's name recognition to be this strong, I'll link a tutorial video for my favorite simple recall game in the description. I encourage you to check it out. Once it was easy for Millie to disengage at a close distance yes. as she watched Nira walk back and forth, it was time to start yes. practicing this skill with Millie in motion. Yes. Good job. Okay, ready? Yes. Yes. Come on, Mills. Good job. Ready? We again started from a decent yes. distance away and then progressively got closer yes. and closer. Yes. If we walked past Nira yes. and Millie looked at her but stayed calm yes. and didn't try to greet her, I marked and rewarded her for that behavior. This also gets her focus back on me. Very good, Millsy. Very, very good. Keep going, keep on. Yes. Good job! As able, I added back in that three to five second pause to see if she could voluntarily disengage from Nira while in motion. Yes. Yes! Good job! Eventually, we got really close and Millie could offer complete neutrality as we walked past yes. without any queuing. Good! Yes! Good! Yes! Yes! Good job! I do want to quickly address two huge elephants in the room that you may be thinking. First, yes, Millie does have amazing leash skills now and she can walk with a completely loose leash. I want to remind you that that was not the case when I met her. The training that we're doing in this video helps condition neutrality to other dogs, but it is important that your dog can already walk with a loose leash when other dogs aren't around. I often see people trying to teach their dogs university level skills when their dog hasn't even mastered kindergarten level leash walking. I'm sorry, but that will not work. If you're struggling with leash training, I'll link a video here and in the video description that explains my step-by-step -step six week program for training incredible leash skills. And second, yes, my dog is also unreactive and neutral, which makes this training much easier. However, it's completely possible to train the same neutrality when walking past barking dogs. If you want to learn how, hit subscribe. When my popular Louie reactivity series returns, I'm going to show you how I taught both him and Millie to stop caring if dogs barked at them.
If you want to watch another Millie training session where she learns not to react to random dogs, watch this video next. Yes. Happy training. I'll see you in the next video.